What is up, guys? Uh, back again for some more Christmas delight. And if you were with me in the last couple of videos, you probably got your sleigh ready. Uh, we'll probably do a sand eventually, but we're not going to do it yet. We're going to scoot this crap off to the side. <coughs> Our little sleigh there. First, we're going to start with something even easier. So if you're new, this should be nice and easy for you. A little less complicated than the sled. Alright, so we're going to start off making a cube, like we always do. We're going to go into edit mode. We're going to control B. And if you start in a new file, you're going to want a size, probably, if you're using Unreal. And if you're using Blended <laughs> Unity, you're probably, uh, <laughs> I don't know what you need to do. Alright, but I'm going to add some segments to this, make this a little bit rounder. We'll do six. Then we'll edit, undo, and we'll just make that shape again, but we'll do it a little better. Okay, perfect. Now S, let's make it taller. Perfect. Shift D. We are going to make ourselves a little frosty man. The uh, snowman. Alright, something like that. Kind of set into each other. Gonna have to decide it on size a little bit. Shift D. And again, if you're making a game, if you're making an art project, it's probably something you're going to want anyways. Figured I'd do it. Super easy, obviously. Then we got our basic snowman here. So obviously we're going to have to make a few more adjustments to make it a little nicer. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry about that. Um, so we'll give him a big old frosty nose because that's delightful for snowman. A carrot nose, I guess it would be. Should have did his eyes first, but I didn't think of it. Alright, so, um, just gonna let go of these back edges by holding shift and clicking them off, right? Then we'll control B for the front, and something like that. Obviously, it's not exactly what you want. S, shrink her down. Almost nothing. Then, we will stretch it out. And we've got our typical carrot shape. If you need to do smaller, you can use a square to cut it in half, or you could remove some faces and recap it. But I think this is going to do the job just lovely for us. I'm going to stick it in his little face. There you go, bud. A little carrot nose. Uh, it's probably a little long, but we'll just dip it into his face, make it as long as we want. So that looks good to me. It looks like pretty good. We're going to have to color it eventually, obviously. I think we use a piece of coal for his eyes it would be so we obviously we don't have coal but what we can do is control B nope and edit mode with tab then control B and then we're going to take these segments back down to one okay then we're going to undo and then we're going to redo it and then we're just going to try to make a basic coal shape which is something like this okay and that's what I'm going to use for my shape. You may want to do a little different. You do whatever you need to do to make it more yours. I'll shrink it down. It's a little hard to move around, but you get the idea. Let's take it in his face. Shrink it down a lot, it looks like. And we'll go over here. And we'll switch our view for we can see a little bit better. I'm still in my color and view from last time. Um, try to figure what angle it's sitting at. There we go. That looks about right. Something like that. It looks like it needs to be turned up a little bit. That's wrong. Mm, so minus 10. Okay something like that and then you get that exact lining that you want maybe a little bit more so what minus 15 something like that move it around till it fits just right I think I'm pretty happy so I'll shift D it and I'll hopefully pop it to the other side that's wrong so I'll take that minus off and do it here perfect and then it would be minus 20 here okay 
be basically the same spot on this side. Okay, as long as you're happy. I have to move them just a hair. You can see that little tiny bit. I can't move them at the same time. Just like that, that little bit of texture was blocking. Try to make some smooth edges like that. As best as you can anyways. So we're going to duplicate this guy. I'm going to change this to zero. This to zero. And this to zero. Oh, that's the wrong one. Um, that's fine. Let's do this one to zero, okay, and then we'll just scroll it right back through, and we'll move it on down for his mouth, okay, and maybe we'll shrink it, no, let's use the same size, we can do this, and we'll just pop it in, something like that, okay, shift D, and something like that. Maybe we want to go a little bit over and a little bit over and we can go shift D and it was this one I believe and then we'll do this one shift D and we'll do the same thing we'll just remove the minus okay now I look a little bit off so maybe just move that in move that in something like that get the idea I think um, Let's, 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 let's do his arms, I suppose. Got to have a little sticky arms for our guy. So let's do that real quick. All right, something like this. And we'll just do one side and we'll transfer it to the other side for it's basically the same, unless you want a different thing on the other side. Um, what should we do? Should we do something different on both sides where it has more personality, or should we make it symmetrical? <coughs> I'm not sure. Let's just see what we start getting, what the look we start getting. With any art project, guys, <coughs> you obviously have your plan of what you want to happen, and then there is what's going to happen, and they're usually two different things. So, my advice is to get good at modifying things. Um, whatever you know find a way to make it work basically you know what I mean if that makes sense to you hopefully it does um, ch -ch -ch, let's see what can we do about this we'll grab that face I suppose and shrink that down for our branch tapers a bit okay like a branch would and we'll go a bit longer I don't know how long a frosty's arm should be you guys probably know though so you go ahead and make it the proper length if I'm making it the wrong length I have made snowman, but I'm getting older, and I haven't made snowman in quite some time. <laughs> what a tragic story, right? All right. Um, 45? Nope, that's wrong. 45 right here? Nope, that's also wrong. All right, well, let's keep messing about until you get the right one. I tend to forget which one I was on. Let's shrink this down before we move it up. Uh, something like this and we'll shrink it down a little bit more and then we will shift D it okay and we'll remove the 45 and we'll go 90 actually there what the heck All right okay I moved the wrong one See, this is what happens. You have so many Christmases and you just you lose your mind. You can't remember anything. So do something like this. Move it into place as best as you can. And we'll do one more maybe. Shift D. And so it would be 90 plus 45. It would be 135. Something like that. And then just pop that guy into place if you can should be fairly easy something like that uh, I think that looks pretty good I don't know we might want to fix up these edges or do it a slightly different way that uh, makes more sense to you if it's uh we'd rather do something like this where it's just kind of protruding out of the out of the pieces something like that and we could do this one what 
make it make more sense and actually line up a bit better something like that and then we could do um, I guess this is probably help to make it just look a little more uh, like naturey, like it was actually this way when you found it type thing but probably make it look less um, I'm sorry I did the wrong one thing there less um, precise on side to side basically is what I'm trying to say so it's going to depend on the look you're after I also could have extended the end of that but I chose to do it this way I think this will be a cleaner way but if I'm mistaken let me know in the comments All right. so I'm just going to control J that's going to be my R now if I'm not happy with the size I could shrink it a little bit and probably turn it on an angle but before we do that let's uh, shift D it and we'll move it to the other side with minus here and then we'll do a minus 90 okay and then maybe we will just normally I would try to set a set angle but again we're trying to make it look naturey so why don't we just randomly just twist it randomly okay a little different on either side maybe it's a little better okay looks pretty good to me let's do a little bit of coloring and then we'll give them a scarf and a hat maybe we'll see what we can do about that but let's first go to uh, let's attach them first okay so out of edit mode grab um, grab his face last grab everything but his face and we'll make his head his control point for it's a little easier to control okay control J perfect one snowman into coloring we go just gonna make him an off color of white but giving him his own color because we still need to assign him a color just gonna make it a little gray okay just to give him a color for it's a little easier here and then we'll do plus new we'll do all these parts here we'll push L over all of them do all these ones here they're all gonna be the same color which is going to be a brownish color that we're going to make our branches for now obviously it doesn't matter because this is just assigning a color scheme to them until you put them in your game oops looks like I didn't assign it assign oh am I not in my color there we go now I'm in my color I wasn't looking at my color that's what it was you can change that up here you want this one and you want down here for your colors alright so let's do his nose we're gonna do that orange obviously a nice carrot orange somewhere in there hair darker doesn't matter I just you know <laughs> okay and we're just giving it a color slot so it doesn't have to be the exact right color I don't know why I got picky there alright grab those and we're gonna go new and we're gonna make them black because they're coal okay now this should help us a little bit as we design the rest of our snowman you can see he looks pretty cute but I think with a few more accessories we can make him look even cuter let's see what we can do about that maybe we can put him in into uh, once we make a Santa we can put him in the back of the sled or something like that depends what you're doing in your game you know but we'll figure it out can also make them look a little bit more squished if we want we just go kind of like this that might be a better look kind of looks a little more squished and a little more natural but you guys decide you do you remember you can ask to make them as big as small as you want them to be a little decoration big huge snowman whatever you want okay but let's do his hat now that I can see his face I feel like I can give him a personality and again maybe you disagree but this is how I tend to do things I like to like almost get a feeling from things before I continue with them because I feel like it's like an art project it's just the way I see it I guess but maybe you disagree and that's fine too but that's just what I would do is color them just to give his personality who is frosty this snowman alright so I just duplicated that and I'm just gonna pull the shape out of the inside so we can reuse this hat if we want to 
make it an in-game item that other people can get, or you can take off, then there's actually, oops, a hole on the inside of the hat, which you can see. Okay. Ooh, actually, let's go back. Let's take that bottom one and duplicate it. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. And the reason being is we're going to actually need to boole that same shape out of the bottom half of our hat. We're going to make a crest for our hat, so we're going to need to boole them. <coughs> so that hole should be there, but now we have an extra piece hanging out, okay? No big deal. Just sit that down there for now. We're going to shift D this piece, and we're going to shrink it down. And then we're going to hit S, and we're going to make it bigger. And then we're going to shrink it down, okay? And then we're going to run it to the end of our hat, put our hole in it. So we'll grab this piece first, that piece second, object, bool. And since we copy the same size piece, it should be the same size hole, right? So this rim should fit on this hat perfectly. I want to make it a little bit thinner. Let's make it a bit thinner just for a better look to it. Okay. And now our snowman has a really classy top hat. Looking good, guys. Alright. So let's put his top hat on him. And if we want to copy it for ourselves, we can just copy the item before we do anything else. So if you want to make it an in-game item or something you can put on something in-game, there you go. We just shift eat it, slide it off to the side. We'll take this and attach it. Control J. So now we have a beautiful top hat. If we want to, we could go in edit mode, hit, click off everything and push L, L, and we'll just make that black as well. Out of edit mode, again. We have more of our snowman look. He has a nice top hat, you know. Looks like a pretty friendly guy. Probably the only thing you'd probably want is a scarf now. Now, there's a few different ways you could do this. Probably the best would to, um, hmm. to make a bezier probably would be the best. Wrap it around. And then it would be perfectly um, wrapped to them and you'd be able to just run your ends off and size it after. So maybe that's what we'll do. But I feel like there may be a different way, especially if you're new. Like, it doesn't look, have to look exact is what I would say. You know what I mean? So, something like this to start off. If you're new, it's just going to be a little easier for you to do something like this. Okay? Don't have to. You know, do what's good for you. Move down. Something like that. So you can see it. Right? Um, yeah, that's probably fine. Even like that. Click off of it. And then you go click into A. Oops. Just got to do that. Shift, shift A. And then I would make this. Pull it up. Shrink it down. Right. Something like this. And then I just move it into place. I might have to angle it for it's hanging off the front of the snowman more. And that's obviously pretty easy to do. But uh, there's a couple ways you can do fabrics too to make it look a little better. You could drag it out like this. <laughs> and just for an easy way to do it, put a cut in there with control R once you're in edit mode let it fall in the middle probably and staying in edit mode grab the top lip and then the bottom lip grab your arrows and I think we got an extra edge in there hang on just like that if you want or you could just do the top one so they connect back into your other piece And then we just got to grab this one, drag it forward a little bit. Okay. Something like that. It looks pretty good, but you didn't have to do all the hard work of making it. It's just like a way to bluff your way through, basically. <laughs> so just go ahead and join those two. Um, let's 
join them to our snowman. Control J. Looks like he's wearing a merry little scarf. Let's try color in them. <clears throat> and maybe we'll just make them some festive fun color like red. All right, blood red. Christmas is here. All right. Oh, it looks like we're just poking through the one edge there. I just keep seeing it every once in a while. So, to fix that, I would just grab this one. And just do that. See how it disappeared? A little square there? Now it's not going to poke through and you're not going to have that texture issue. Still looks really good. Not hard to make. Low poly snowman. And now you can use it for your in-game item, hopefully. Uh, I'm not really sure what else to make today, so we'll maybe we'll start Santa next time. Uh, maybe you guys don't want to do Santa. Maybe you want to do elves. Maybe you want to do a hat. Uh, more hats. I don't know. Maybe you want to do Chris a Christmas tree. Maybe I'll do that next time. Not really sure what you guys are after, but maybe let me know, and we'll go from there and see what else. Uh, make sure you subscribe and like. I think I'm going to put the snowman in there. Yeah, look at this sucker now. Make sure you like and subscribe, and you probably see a link to my game underneath if you want to check it out. I'd love to have you play it and tell me what you think. And if you're not up for that, then that's fine too. Thank you for watching. And uh, hopefully this helps you in some way. Bye, guys.